Hi. So I finally come to the conclusion that my yarn stash is uh, a little too big. It's so big it doesn't even fit in these closets. It's in a different room. This right here is just my new yarn and it goes back pretty deep down there, you know? There's a lot hidden behind some of this too, but unfortunately this is not all of it. We also have all this and this. And to shrink this yarn stash, I don't wanna get rid of any of it because I really do love this yarn. So instead, I am gonna do the crazy thing of actually using the yarn what it was intended for, making things. Okay, let's go to the next place so I can explain the, the next part. So I'm not very fast at knitting or crocheting, so to actually use all that yarn, it'd probably take me 45 years, so I decided in order to use all this yarn, <coughs> I bought a yarn machine. But the thing is, I personally have never used one of these knitting machines before. I've used like the circle, like loom knitting machine, but that's different. So I actually have to learn how to use this first before we can even start using any of my yarn. But luckily for me, there are billions, no, probably 10 people on YouTube that actually have tutorials on how to use this machine. So up and it fell off or some of it fell off so I just took it off and look how beautiful this is look at this this is the most stunning knit I have ever created in my lifetime so I feel like that was a good practice round for me get a little swatch going but now I'm just gonna take it apart because now I actually want to work on I think a scarf I feel like a scarf is it'd probably be the easiest I just grabbed all the colors that kind of sparked joy for me and then we're just gonna pull them as I feel. So I'm not following any tutorials, I am just looking at the manual I found online and it says you're supposed to just like put the new yarn in the feeder here. Is that what it's called? I think it works. Ha -ha! Look at this. Okay, so I'm done the first piece. Amazing, I didn't even think it was gonna look this good. Like making it, I was like, oh no, did I choose the wrong colors? But then now, wearing it, I am just so happy I got a knitting machine. That's what I gotta say, I am so happy. But as for right now, we can just chuck this onto my Manny. Keep her nice and toasty, and I'm gonna get myself some ramen. Mm. This is the fit I'm wearing to go get ramen. So last 
last night I had a very humbling experience with my knitting machine. After making the scarf and after obviously having my ramen, I was like feeling pretty good. I was like, I am a knitting machine designer. I am a knitting machine artist. I can make anything. I am invincible. I've mastered this machine already. And that clearly was not the case because I then made this. You're probably wondering, what is this? What is this supposed to be? It was supposed to be like a shopping bag. So that was a waste of like three hours last night and then I went to bed and then I decided we're just gonna try again tomorrow. This used machine still had the plastic wrap on it and I got to pull it off. Before we get back into the knitting machine content, just watch how satisfying this is. Shoot. Look at that. Hi. <laughs> So I'm here, I'm done all my pieces, I'm future Jenna, and I just wanted to take a moment to tell you guys how you could possibly get your hands on one of these handmade pieces I made in today's video. And I'm gonna do so by telling you guys about today's sponsor, which is Whatnot. If you guys have not heard of Whatnot before, they are this amazing live auction app where you can buy and sell vintage and thrifted pieces. I'm personally partnering up with them next Thursday at 5 p.m. PST slash 8 p.m. EST to sell all of these handmade pieces that I've made in today's video. So let me tell you how it works. So sellers host live on the Whatnot app. And during the live, they showcase pieces they want to sell, whether they're vintage or thrifted, or in my case, my handmade knits. During that live, people like you can tune in and watch live. Don't even have to purchase anything. You can just sit there and watch and enjoy the live, or you can bid on items when they come up on the screen. So if you guys wanna tune in to my live next Thursday, I have it right here. Click the link down below and be sure to bookmark it so it notifies you when I go live on the app. And if you use my link down below, you'll actually get $10 off your first purchase. Okay, let's get back to the knitting. I'm happy to declare that I did not mess up on this last scarf. She is done. We did it! I now have two scars in two different color, color schemes. And it's 9.30. So I feel amazing. I feel very good after doing another scarf. Like I feel more confident with this machine. So I think the next one we are going to do You know that plastic I pulled off at the beginning of the day? I don't know if I was supposed to. So for my skirt, I have been hoarding this hand dyed yarn that I personally hand dyed. I just have a whole bunch of it here and I haven't used it for a project yet. And I think we're gonna use it for this project. We're gonna use it for the skirt. So I really hope I don't mess it up because this is very special yarn. Give me a fire knit fit. Final verdict on this skirt is I really like it. I do really like it. The only thing that's holding me back is it's too big for me. So I feel like it'd be kind of cool if the front didn't match the back. Right? Maybe not. I don't know. rolling around in something you usually don't stink why do you stink 
But I do have some good news. I got both pieces done for the skirt. Bad news is I'm not gonna finish it right now because so I did say I wanted to use up a lot of my yarn. So I think for this bag, I am just going to start using colors that I'm almost out of. going to change this one it's, it's not gonna be a bag anymore I just decided now looking at this I think it would look better as a tank I'm going to attempt to just put it into a tube on here you know save some time what if it was twisted would that look cool did I just become a genius so this wraps around this curves like this so it's like a top. So I have it in a tube now. I'm going to try it on before I put the straps on just in case. I need to take it apart because this twisty thing is not gonna work. Does it look good? I can't tell. This looks really good. Huh. So I'm thinking, instead of trying to do the bag now, I kind of want to make a sweater vest. So I think I just spent about 45 minutes to an hour on this ribbing and it's kind of ugly. Look at that. Bleh. Anyways, for this piece, I'm thinking about doing a cropped sweater vest, which I need to figure out how to decrease and how to do this part, because all right now, I only know how to do rectangles and squares. It's almost 4.30. I have been kneading on this machine since like eight. I think that's eight and a half hours. I can't really think right now. My brain's starting to get very tired, but I'm at the part of my sweater where I'm supposed to actually do like the arm portion, like decrease so you know your neck can go in. Oh gosh. So when I take this off, I think it's gonna look like a stretched out t-shirt or like, you know, the t-shirts that you just had for way too long and then the neck's just like, you know, over your shoulders. I have a feeling that this is going to look like that. It's a little large. The more and more I make, I'm just going to keep hanging it on my mani. It's just going to be like, when I'm done. So I've been working on this skirt for the last like hour and two hours, hour and a half, and I got it into a tube. I'm getting a lot of the ends woven in, but if you just like look at the skirt, it's just... Look at my mug. It's a squirrel holding a mug. <sighs> Anyways, when I got to the gym this morning, I realized my headphones were dead. They were dead, I couldn't listen to anything, so instead I had to brainstorm. That was the only way I could distract myself and finish my run on the treadmill. So I brainstormed because originally when I started this video, I really wanted to make 10 pieces. 
but I didn't want to disclose that to you guys just in case I made like two and then failed hard. That was more like a mental goal. But I do need to get everything done today and I only have five done. So far I have a long scarf, a long scarf, a skirt, a top, and a tank top. Next I'm going to make is a short scarf, another short scarf, a cell phone holder, leg warmers, which you technically need two because you got two legs. So that's my last things, 10 pieces. very happy with how it's going so far like man it's it's only 10:09, and I already have one of my five pieces done today so for my next scarf I am changing it up a little bit and I'm gonna be using this yarn right here which is a multicolor mohair yarn Okay, I'm done the one scarf. Ta-da! It is a little shorter than I was hoping. Like, it's fine, it's a good length, but I think I might try to block it and try to stretch it out just because I personally like to wrap my scarf a little bit like this, like this, and I just feel like it's a little too short. So, make it a little bit bigger. someone walked into my room right now without any context to what I was doing, they'd probably think I'm making thongs in here. Like, doesn't this look like the thong all we just need to do is just add the strap on the side, right? I finally finished my pouch. Doesn't look like a thong anymore. And good news is it actually fits my phone perfectly. I'm very happy to announce that my eighth piece is done. Can't see. Isn't it absolutely perfect? And then if I'm not feeling the green, I can just flip it over and there we go. A two in one bag. So for my last two pieces, I was gonna do like a two in one where I make leg warmers, but there's two pieces. So technically it's two, but I'm not really feeling that anymore. Not sure if the leg warmers are really me. So I'm changing it. I have decided where to go. I have decided I want to do a headband or two headbands. Probably the first one's going to be a practice run. It's not going to be as good, but the second one hopefully will be perfect. I'm not really sure how big I need the top of the headband. I feel like that's a good size. This one reminds me of like that striped girl children's book. You guys know what I'm talking about? Okay, I finished the back two pieces. They just look like this. They're very baby, cause I'm just gonna put an elastic through them and then sew up the side seam and it's just gonna go right here. So I'm realizing that I probably should have sewed all of the seams instead of hand sewing them would have saved me a lot of time because I finished this headband in like two minutes.
Does it look like it's made for a toddler? I actually quite enjoyed this headband. Snap it in there. The elastic's twisted. This was the moment I was waiting for all week where I could just stand here with every single piece and knitted. I, I, okay, of course I wouldn't wear all these pieces together, but you know, we could probably put like the skirt at the top and then a scarf together, maybe even headband and this. Maybe not like all my scarves, but oh gosh, I feel alive. Well anyways, I am gonna now take some of these pieces off so we can individually dissect every single knit I made. So I'm going to try my best to style each piece for you. So first, we have the halter top I made and you guys didn't see me put the strap on but I decided I wanted to make it a halter top just so it's very open in the back and I also just thought it'd be more secure. If you ever want to cheat to like blocking your knits, just give it a good steam like I did because this was so wavy and just like not very nicely shaped. And just after a quick steam, it's like perfect. But this is how I styled it. I just put some like khaki cargo pants with it, maybe some black boots. So personally, especially for fall, I just like pairing all my skirts with a nice hoodie because one, it's super cozy because you know you get a little draft up there and that can be kind of cold in the fall. So this kind of compensates, you know, balances it out. I also just really like the look too. So for the scarves, I will legit pair them with anything, but right now I just have like these cropped dress pants, trousers, and I just like to wrap this around like this. But this is the short one I made. And then I do have some long ones. These ones are my favorite. I love a long scarf because then it's still really long once you wrap it once. Yeah. See, it looks so good. It just like makes the outfit. Like before, the outfit was like, you know, decent. It's like a nice professional looking outfit. But now, I'm a whole different woman. And then the final scarf, this one's a little bit shorter, so I just have it kind of hanging on the side like this. So for my headbands, I am not the type of person that really goes all out and styles them into my outfit. They're kind of like an afterthought when I go and look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, Jenna, your hair is really greasy, so you probably should put something on my head. These are when these come in play, just like bucket hats. See? No more roots. And for everyone that's possibly interested in getting one of my knitted pieces today, be sure to tune into my live on Whatnot next Thursday at 5 p.m. PST slash 8 p.m. EST. But that's all I really had to say, so I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys later. Bye.